Hi guys, it's Laura. Thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. Today it's gonna be rather a relaxed video. I would like to unbox my new sewing machine together with you guys and also while doing that I would love to give you a short life update. So if that's something you're interested in then please keep watching. So before we open the box with my new sewing machine, which I'm by the way very excited about, I would like to throw in a few things first. So the first thing is that I'm not wearing any makeup today. I haven't been doing that for like the past few days because suddenly I just can't be bothered with makeup. I still love makeup and I will definitely still wear makeup, but recently I haven't been feeling it. And usually when I'm in front of the camera, I feel like I need makeup in order to be able to present myself, but that wasn't the case today. And it's really a great feeling to be able to do that because in my mind, of course, I know that I don't need makeup. I, I mean, literally no one needs makeup, but now it's also in my heart and I really feel that it's okay. So that's something I wanted to share. The second thing is a little bit of self-promotion. I'm wearing a sweater that I made last week together with you guys. So if you missed this video, I will link it down below. And then I would like to do a little bit of promotion for a company I paired with recently. This is something that's really important to me. I've been struggling with uh, depression and with anxiety attacks for most of my life. And last year has been very tough. So when the company BetterHelp approached me and asked me if I would like to pair with them, I was super happy about that because I really love their concept. So if you don't know BetterHelp, they are an online counseling solution. This is a really great thing if you really busy and if your time is very limited and you don't get to go to a therapist in person or if you're someone who doesn't feel comfortable leaving the house and talking like in person to other people you can make a chat session with them or a call or you can make like a skype thing a kind of thing with them BetterHelp has uh, accredited and licensed therapists so they are professionals but the pricing is really awesome. When I go to my therapist in person, I always pay like 130 euros. When you take better help counselors, it's something between like 35 and I think like $65 a week, which is way less than what I'm paying in person. So if you're interested in that, I will link their information down below. And now let's open the sewing machine. All right, here is the box with my new sewing machine. It's by the brand Brother. And here on the front, you can see the model number XQ3700. I'm super curious about how it's gonna be. I never had a Brother machine. My last machines were usually Privilec machines. The last one lasted only like four years and I was so upset that I decided to switch brands. So I went for a Singer. The last machine, Singer, is a good machine, but it has some issues. I'm not 100% satisfied with the performance. I mean, it did a great service so far. I made even my winter coat on it. Like the sweater is also something I made on it. My jeggings, pretty much everything I've been sewing for the past, I would say like three years, was made on the Singer machine. I have a playlist sewing for beginners and there I have shown the machine that I had so far. So if you're interested in that, I will link the playlist down below. Anyway, I decided to buy myself a machine that's not a computer <clears throat> operated machine. I wanted to have one that's operated manually because from my experience, these were the machines that lasted the longest. So that's why I bought rather a simple model but also from my experience, there are not many things I use. There are a few stitches I love using, but I don't need a super fancy machine. What I need is a machine that's strong enough to go through many layers of fabric. It is not supposed to be too slow while sewing and it should be very easy to operate. And it looks like this should be it. So now I'm going to move the camera so that we can have a look what's inside. So when I opened the box on the top, you can clearly see that the machine has been packed in styrofoam. This is standard. And here on the top, there was the bag with some extras. So I have here a sewing foot for buttons. Then there is a few needles. Then this thing for the bobbin, you know, the, the pin or whatever you call it. There is a double needle covering for the things. I don't know how it's called in English, but you know, the little teeth that 
move the fabric it's basically beneath the sewing foot i just can't think of the word right now but i think you know what i mean then uh there are three uh, little bobbins they are made of plastic there is a zipper foot also made of plastic some other foot i'm not sure what is it for also plastic and a metal sewing foot i can tell you off the top of my head what it is this for but i think it's like an edging foot and then there is a little piece of metal that you can use in order to open some screws in places where you wouldn't be able to come in with a screwdriver so that's what has been in the little bag now here we have the sewing machine as you can see it's a pretty simple model but that's what i wanted the machine has been taped in several places for the transport and they put in a piece of a cardboard underneath the sewing foot they also already inserted a needle you have already seen this little bag with a few extras, extra sewing feet and stuff. Uh, furthermore, there was a box with the pedal and with the cable inside of the big box. Then they put in a short manual. I love them for that because I don't like reading the long one if not absolutely necessary. There was also the warranty card, the manual on CD, a little catalog with a few sewing projects. Um, it's written in eight languages in total. Next, there was the cover for the sewing machine and then the manual. I think it's like six pieces. Yeah, six manuals. One is French. Then we have a German version. This is the one I'm going to use. Then we have one in Italian. I think this is Dutch. Yeah, it's in Dutch. This should be Swedish. No. It's Danish and the last one is Swedish. One thing I find really nice is that they thought of the fact that sometimes tape is really a bitch to get off things. So they um, folded the end of the tape so that you can easily remove it. And that's something I really appreciate. The front part of the table that you remove, um, if you need this free, is pretty small so if you would want to store something inside um, it's not really super practical because it doesn't close so anything you put in would fall out but I don't need to store it inside because right behind me I have a few drawers where I can put it like the little bag with the extra sewing feet so it's not a big issue for me the cable and the pedal are connected to one plug so you need to plug only one thing in you plug the things in here on the side and then there is the on and off switch. Now the place where you put your thread on is very simple. You just pull it out and put your thread on it. This is something I like because the Singer machine that I had so far had only a hole in it and you had to plug it in or you would have to put the thread on the back of the machine, which I didn't like. So this is definitely a great thing for me personally. Now, when I want to open this, I just slide this to the front or back. So this is pretty easy. Nothing that would surprise me. And here we have the bobbin. And now I think the best thing we should do would be to try the machine, don't you think? So I'm going to insert one of my bobbins. And let's close this. Then I will thread the machine. It looks as though this should be pretty much the same like with any machine. And that is also the case. The machine has a threading help here on the side. But I personally prefer doing it freehand because I'm much faster with that. And I have here a piece of jersey and we will try a few things. All right, I looked at these little wheels here. So this one is for the tension of the thread. This one is making the stitch narrower or wider, and this is for the length of the stitch.
unfortunately, I have to say I'm not really impressed. I think the machine is pretty fast and it's very quiet and it's super easy to handle. So if you just a hobby seamstress, I think it's going to suffice. However, if you like sewing a lot of things made of stretch, just like I do, it's not a machine for you, in my opinion. I tried a few of the stretchy stitches and um, literally they only stretch the fabric out. So I'm going to go a little bit closer. I tried a stitch that I would assume would be a great stitch for sewing um, like stretchy materials together, which I usually do like when I'm sewing the sweater together. This is what I would use for the side seam and look how the fabric got stretched out. The problem is that the machine has a setting for stretch stitches and then you can set only the width but not the length and that's for me a massive problem so I will go tomorrow back to the store and return the machine and I will look at another model. So once I find a model that will work I will film another video if you're interested. I have to admit, I am a little bit disappointed. I really hope that this is going to be the machine of my dreams, but it's okay, life goes on. This is not the end of the world and I'm pretty sure that I will find another model that will work for me. I'm also willing to pay more. I just need a machine that's great for sewing stretchy materials where I can set the stitch length also for the stretchy stitches. And I don't need any fancy stuff on the machine. I don't need any like creative stitches. There are just a few stitches I use on a regular basis. So we'll see what I'm gonna buy at the end. So that's all about the machine. And now one last thing I wanted to talk about today. I actually don't know for sure if I ever told you that I finally finished university. So yay, I graduated. I'm so happy and of course also so proud because it's been sometimes really tough. Honestly, when I look back, I have no idea how was I able to manage family, job, university and YouTube at the same time. I don't know because now I'm only working and I'm also enjoying some spare time. And sometimes when I have to film, I feel super stressed. And when I look back, it's like I've been doing way more back then. How is it that I'm stressed now? But there you have it. Mostly when people are stressed, they are able to do way more. But I don't think it's healthy long term. I'm actually very happy that I have now a reasonable schedule. Anyway, for those of you who are new here, I went to Vienna University of Economics and Business. I majored in business information systems and information management and control. My bachelor thesis was about home automation systems and usability issues with their interfaces. So it's totally different than what I do here but it's still something I love and this is also something I do as my day job. We have an IT company and there are a few areas I'm responsible for and I really love it. I love my job. I think it's great having a day job because it gives your life a certain routine and I feel like having a certain routine is really good for you. Yeah, and that's it for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it's been totally different from anything I usually post on this channel but I just wanted to say hi because I haven't been filming really frequently recently and I wanted you to know that I didn't forget you. There is still videos coming. It's not gonna be every week, but I'm gonna do my best to film as regular as possible. And yeah, if you wanna know more about my life, you are always, of course, welcome on my vlogging channel, Wolf Moon. I will link that channel down below. And thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'm looking forward to seeing you with my next video, hopefully very soon. Bye!